Alrighty, good morning, still morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to Factorio. We are going to be having a crack at getting a water station going on here. Uh, now, I may do, at some point, I may do all of these water fluid sort of stations as, you know, as proper things. <laughs> as... You know what I mean, as logistics train network type deals. But for now, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it as it is and, yeah, see how we go. So I'm only going to have two pumps per carriage at the moment. I can potentially um, increase that to four. I don't know if I can increase it to six. Uh, what I can do here, actually... Is we'll move these guys out a little bit further. Um, yeah, and then we'll have three pumps for each carriage. So that way, I think it's it's definitely a better option than. Uh, <clears throat> Actually, we we'll just join all those up. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, so that'll definitely make it a better option than trying to load it from. So two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that is going to be water. And <clears throat> we're going to start sucking the water from this little area right here. And if we need to go to start sucking some more off from another place, then that is what we will do. So what I'm going to do here is actually three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I want there to be a lot of water available. So we'll pump out a whole bunch of water in between. All these guys will be full. All these guys will be full. When they fill up the train, It'll suck these guys out really, really quickly. And then these guys um, will help fill these ones up really, really fast, I'm hoping. Okay, so like that. And we'll do... Stuff like that. So you... And then we, yeah, we'll just do something like this. See how it goes. Drop. Nope. 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 Okay, so that'll keep all of those guys filled up approximately. I don't know if we'll need even more stations. We might need some more in which case we'll have to redo this pipe related stuff. But for now, that's looking pretty good. Okay. All right, so there we go. Pipe like that. And pipe throughput is definitely a thing here. Definitely a thing. So we want to make sure that these guys can go pretty much full speed. 1200 per second. So yeah, I reckon we're getting that. These guys are slowly getting up. You think each one of these is probably about 100 per second, maybe a bit more. When that's, that's fairly decent. So what we're going to go and do is get some more carriages. Now, because the water, we're not making that part of the logistics network, it means these trains won't go to and from a hub. 
Uh, at least I'm not planning on making them go to and from a hub. They'll just go to and from the water source. And that means that they need to get refueled somewhere. And I guess for now, we'll get them refueled here. I guess. I'm not sure about that. Maybe I'll have a like a liquid refueling station for these trains. So in between uh, in between wherever they're going, they'll go to kind of a liquid hub, which is not logistics controlled, it's just a straight up train station which pumps stuff into them. But for now for now what we're gonna do is Half of that stuff. Okay. Dump it all in there. And then do it like that. One, two, three, four. And this guy, which does not need to be powered, which is awesome. So there we go. That will keep this train going forever. And you are going to be, go to, let me see. This is supply water zero one. Okay. So your job is to go to supply water zero one, wait for inventory full, and then go to input water and inventory empty. And you are going to be the only train doing that. You got fuel. Okay, so how are you doing? You're getting up there. You are definitely getting up there. So that guy's full, that guy's full, that guy's full. This guy's getting full. We're filling up these train things as well, which is awesome. Yeah, and we can keep reusing this station for now. We should never have a train sitting in this bit for too long. Okay, wait until full cargo inventory. What's your problem? 25k, 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 25 Ah, still on manual. There we go. So now that will go over to Mr. Uranium. So let's just go ahead and make sure it gets through all the different places. Whoa, not what I meant to do. Whoops. Obviously clicking on that opens the map view, which is nice. These guys. So yeah, they use fuel very, very slowly. So this red bar is the, the one that's got it started using and that is going to take ages to move out. So we may never need to put fuel in that water depot again unless we leave this game running uh, overnight. If you can see a little bit of lag and stuff like that, that is because I am doing some handbrake conversion of videos in the background. I might pause that while I'm doing this. See if that helps a little bit. That train sounds really, really cool. So, the nuclear train. There we go. So it's only pumping out two. But these guys obviously got filled up really, really quickly. And because they're joined, they obviously... Well, I'm not emptying out the middle thing, but they all joined together. So there we go. There's some water going on. Immediately, we got some sulfuric acid. Four. Going in here. Need you some iron, I'm guessing. So, what do we do about this? Do we train in iron, or do we just suck it in from somewhere? I feel like training in iron is going to be the way to go. So what we do, this is going to be a logistics network thing. Um, I'm not going to start training in iron yet. I'm just going to hack it for now. So what we do is, this is going to be where the iron gets loaded, this station. So let's just set up the network. For that stuff. 
go. And there we go. So we need a few robots to come over here. This is not going to be a very heavy station. So I feel like we can put the minimum here because it's going to be Kovarax and iron and that's going to be the only things that we need going on here. So 100 robots and uh, let's, there we go. Let's put 100 robots into this section. And then what we can do is we got space here, so we might as well just do some things. Damn, iron. Iron is going to be a pain in the ass. If only we had wood readily available. Hmm. I mean, as if only we had wood readily available in the actual uh, in the actual system, as in we could build it readily available. Okay, that's going to be a bit better. So we got one, need another one too. Steel. Man, I really do need to get warehouses automated. I might just have to do it, you know? Might just have to do it. So let's go to advanced solar. Um, okay, so how do we build warehouses? I think we just need warehouses. We can build storage warehouses and stuff off by ourselves. But yeah, these guys. Steel, iron, stone brick. Steel, iron. I don't know where stone brick is. There it is. Okay. It was a bit janky here, but it's all good. And you need. Now we need a normal here so give me some steel go on give me some steel there we go warehouse right here so you will be making wooden chests oh what got an extra step so anyway wooden chests Power poles. Oh, let's put this up here instead. And this will be making the wood. So now you just need wood. I can see this is going to be somewhat slow because this process, I mean, it's two wood every half a second. We kind of need two of them though, don't we? All right. Okay. okay. Let's put the wood in here instead. There we go, that should be a lot better. I'm not sure if I want to cache these wooden chests, actually. Kind of hard to do it now, I haven't really left myself enough space, but... Anyway, that's running pretty much full speed. Huh. That's taken its sweet freaking time. Let's do something a little bit more obscene here. Or could we do the same thing for this guy? Yes, we can. Because we can do a big one like that and then extend that out. Which is batteries anyway, so. There we go. All the steel goes into here and we start making warehouses. 
And I feel like that's enough. We don't need a ton of them. So let's go into the uranium mine. Okay, that's this guy. That's not the actual uranium mine. So we need to go to this one. And then we need to destroy that and put down a proper one up here. Uh, right over here. So you are uranium pieces. And you are going to be local dash or home dash. There we go, home dash. So now we know that it's not actually part of the mega base. All right, so that gives us. Of course, we're out of steel. Of course, we're out of steel. Okay, let's just go to here and let's grab some steel. You pay me ass. Go on, more steel, please. Here we go, that gives us all of these. Probably don't need this many, it's probably overkill, but I definitely do like the idea of having everything done beautifully. So we're going to need some stack filter inserters here. Ah, that's a long way away. Let's just grab all of them, which is a thousand, which is quite a lot. And we'll set this up properly, but we won't actually get a train route going yet. But we'll set it up so that as soon as we do, it will all be good. So, uh, first logistics train station down here. Okay, so we need ourselves a constant combinator. Where did that guy go? No, oh, freaking down here. Now we're gonna try and remember how to do this crap. So it's green wire goes from here to the pole and we don't hook this up to that until we know what we're doing so then the green wire goes from here one two two down, down, down. okay so we want this to be requesting uh, now we've got let's have a look We've got four train carriages. If I put myself a train carriage down there, that's 40 slots. So that's 4,000 per carriage, which is going to be a total of 16,000. And because we want, don't want to run out, we do 32,000. So that's two train loads. Okay, two train loads. Well, did that wrong. So that has to be up in negative 32,000. And we do the request is 16,000. Now, was there anything else we needed to do? Stop is depot, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to limit the train lengths because we've only got one logistics network and we're not mixing different size trains. I think that's it. I think we can just leave it as the basic. So there we go. Now we can hook that up to there. Oh, let's have a look. So negative 32K, we dump in a bunch of iron. That's now negative 31K, excellent. So now we hook this up to that. And that should start complaining about not having enough iron in the system. Presumably, uh, if it doesn't, I'm not sure. Um, 
uranium fuel cell input iron anyway we've got what we needed and actually we don't need this do we we can just put some requested chips here oh bloody requested chips Need some electronic circuits. Are you serious? We don't have any of those. Oh my god. That's right. We got some here. Five hundred. And I need to re-sort my toolbars out. So you. Ah. Thank you. Two hundred. There we go. And there we go. All the iron's gone. So you, sir. I would have thought you can you would have been complaining by now. Do I have mods? Logistics train network, message level. Notifications. That should include errors. Uh, enable debug log. I may have turned that off. But let's turn it back on again. If it starts beeping at me too much, then we'll just turn it off. So, what we do is we disconnect this line, and then we reconnect it. Go on, debug log please, debug log. Requesting, please tell me I still understand how to do this stuff. I'm pretty sure I do. Negative 32 is requesting something, and we only request if there's... 16 yeah i'm pretty sure i got all that shit correct i don't know what it's doing but it is producing sulfuric acid so let's go ahead and get this stuff going now we're going to start to use the um the straight up mining uh what you call it the straight up mega base mining pattern here which is going to be no gaps in between the miners anymore for power poles we don't want to do that anymore but what we just do is we have pro passive provider chests everywhere and then we don't need to do that anymore and they just go directly into yeah directly into provider chests and that is going to give us a lot more uranium to play around with Okay, so what we do here is get some passive providers. Yeah, we definitely want passive providers here. We definitely don't want active providers in this situation. It's definitely not what we want. Oh man, I need I need more toolbars. I really, really need more toolbars. Okay, and then you go like that. Go like this boom boom and boom and then we get the whole lot oh that's not what we want we want this one and this one and this one Okay, and then we just need a robo port. Ah, uh, looks like we can just cover all of these guys. Excellent. Now we just need Hopefully a single pipe should cover us. Uh, throughput problems I imagine it certainly would I'd be very surprised if it doesn't but then again you never know okay nothing being missed excellent 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 all of these guys going green excellent 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 this stuff got drained maybe a little bit but I think it's still going up overall so 
That is good. That is very good. And that's a whole bunch of uranium. Yep. Wait a sec. That's per. Per chest. What the hell? I'm confused now. Okay. So that number I've seen down at the bottom right, I thought that was per chest, 900. But no, it's not. That's just the total in there. Okay. All right. I am slightly less confused now. Man, this is really turning into a pain in the ass. Because, yeah, as you know, I'm struggling with tendinitis and trying to figure out what to do about it. And I was going to be in, uh, I was going to do something like playing football manager and stuff like that. But I've tried to play football manager. I'm just not a fan. I'm just not a fan of football manager, so. Yeah, I don't know. So. Just wasn't a thing. Okay, so. What we're going to have to do here is. Oh, we will need storage. I'm pretty sure we will need storage for this system. Um. Uh, how do I make it not completely crap over these storage systems? Hmm. I think that should be okay. We're not gonna massively just completely destroy all, all of the storage in this area. Well, not straight away anyway. Maybe eventually we will, so. You guys need to be bigger, bigger guys. Man, I'm just really running out of this basic stuff here. Give me some iron, give me some of these. How do I not have enough iron in this freaking game? Oh, I love teleporters. I love them so, so, so very much. Ten. So this would be ten of these, and then we're going to have ten of the uh, Kovarex things going on. Uh, I almost think these should be... These guys. Almost. I'm not sure why, but I just feel like they should be. I wish I could look back at my own previous setup for logistics uranium processing that feels right so you need to be uranium more let's give you like 500 two three four five there we go robots starting to do a good job yeah hopefully that hundred is enough i'm pretty sure that will be enough although i'm a bit worried about these guys continuously running there they go they seem to have backed off still doing a little bit of work but they seem to have backed off okay so that's that now we go on to stage two down here which is going to be the Kovarex two three four five one two three Now this, I think, is where we start mixing things around a bit, so, four, five, so each of these needs 100 of that and 100 of that, so half and half and half. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that the Kovarax we're producing, or the 235 we're producing, is not going to be okay all right i think i know what we're supposed to be doing here so this needs to be one of these and it needs to be like that okay now we need to, a system here no 
So this is going to be the 238. So we need some, we need a whole bunch of these filtering servers. You need to be 238. So the 238 here always goes back into the system, whereas the 235 goes into this chest and is only pulled out when it is needed. So then we don't end up producing too much 235. Uh, makes it hard. Where's my? Because we're not going to have enough room for freaking power poles in the middle anymore, so we're going to have to do that. Okay. Ah. Three, four, five. That should almost be a stack filter, shouldn't it? For that guy. Ah. Uh, nah. Maybe it doesn't matter. We'll make this a stacker. You know what? They should almost be stackers because they're spitting out a lot of stuff. So just for the principle of the thing, it doesn't matter that it takes 50 seconds. We might put... Ah, uh, what did I do? We might put God knows what in there. So you have your half and half, or you don't yet. So we need to go down to here, we need to steal some of these guys. There we go, and that'll trigger these guys to start regenerating, which is fine. You are still all storage warehouses. Hmm, I still a bit weird about having them store be storage warehouses, but the way this logistic system is built, we're not going to have an unlimited amount of any of these uranium products getting completely out of control. It's just not going to happen. So I think we should be fine. Uh, and if it shares those storage warehouses, you know, so be it. Uh, and yeah, we could do something with conveyor belts or something, blah, blah, blah. But we could have that be an active provider warehouse or I don't know. But we're just going to leave it as it is. Actually, you know what? We should make these passive provider warehouses. Yeah. Passive provider warehouses. That sounds like a good idea. I uh, don't know why I didn't think of that before. I just wanted the big ones. 23. Oh, you're having fun with the steel, aren't you? You and everybody else, my friend. There we go. I don't know why I didn't make them passive providers in the first place. I just did not think of it. Okay, so then we got storage warehouse right in the middle here. Actually, we'll move that down here. So it's a little bit closer to the teleporter. So there we go. And now we just need, this is probably shut down because we're out of iron, isn't it? Oh, let's go ahead and dump all the iron. So that'll store, well, it won't store iron usually, but it will store stuff like um, Kovrax and different things. Did we dump the stuff in? Not yet. Okay, there we go. So that should kickstart this process very nicely. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And now all we need is a bunch of machines. Although we're building machines in the mega base now, so we really should be using the better assembly machines. And we'll do that right over here. It's a bit close to the warehouse, but it's just missed out on actually being constrained by it. All righty. Let's get another one of these guys. Uh, so what do you need? Iron, 238 and 231.
and we'll constrain you very heavily. Uh, or will we? Let's let's constrain it a bit less heavily, so that if we have a bunch of different trains come in, we can fill them up a bit better. So that's going to be a stack inserter. Damn it, of course I dumped all the iron, didn't I? No wonder that sort of thing happens. Let's go to one of these passive providers and dump half the iron. Still don't know why that isn't working, but what are you going to do, eh? So move that over there. This needs to be about 300. Make this about 100. Make this about 600. Here we go. Now, of course, this, I think this is slowing down the whole process, personally. I mean, we're going to have loads of this ore sitting back waiting. Not quite filling up yet, but back waiting. Could constrain these chests as well. Ah, do I really bother? It's a good idea. Just, it's generally a good idea to constrain them. We're never really going to have a big rush here. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Ah, it's not constraining all of them. It's missing some of them. Alright, I think they're all constrained now. So there we go. So we need another 10 of those, suspectively. Maybe, possibly. Do we have another 10? I don't think I dumped any more concrete in here. 15k. There we go, there's two, but two is not enough. So we'll go down and we'll expand this later on, keep these guys going. And the Kovarax, well the Kovarax is running, running at full speed. I don't see a lot of the, uh, I think we moved all of the 235 we had into these sort of places. You got a bunch, you got a bunch, you got a bunch, you got, so these got a hundred each. Huh. We haven't really built up the Cobrax supplies we needed. Let's go down and grab some more, because I don't want all of the 235 sitting in those chests waiting to be made into stuff. Although we don't have... We took out enough to get this guy to re regenerate himself. And we are actually producing fuel already, so let's turn these around. Okay, you're full, you're full, you're full, you're full. Okay. So all of this should get re resent into the system. And it might shut down. But yeah. Let's disable this on three of them. And chuck that back in there. And then we can fix it up later on. Regardless, this is a fully running system now. And what are we going to do? I guess we'll just use warehouses here. I like the idea of using warehouses because it's only one thing I have to worry about. As opposed to six things, which is, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. So.
and you are going to be requesting so how do they stack they stack in hundreds don't they Fifty. So that means each carriage can produce can carry two thousand. So you need to be four thousand. Excellent. And then we set up the thing here. And yeah, I'll start putting the numbers down at some point, but provide threshold 8,000. Yes, because we can only put 8,000 in here and it's all good. So. So that's currently providing 20 and it needs to provide 8,000 for it to flag itself as a Positive provider. Supply remaining fuels zero one. Alrighty, we are done. We are going to turn this off for a while until Cobrax finishes itself, and we are also going to have a look down here and see what you're up to. We got nine steel. Is your problem right now you need like a hundred steel don't you how much steel do I have I can give you some ah that started it that was enough okay so that's given us another set we don't quite have a lot of I feel like I need these guys more than I need the other guys. I don't know why, but I just feel like that. There we go. We definitely will be expanding that Kovarax though. Getting more of that stuff going. Go on. Ah. And there we go. This is the first fully operational station that we have uh, seen so far and next episode is well it's kind of a chicken and the egg we need to set up an iron station to get this guy working but we need to set up a depot to get to be able to you start using the iron station and we need to have uranium fully running for the depot to have fuel so it is kind of a chicken and the egg but what we'll probably do is we'll just manually pass iron along to this station for now and that can be it there we go whole bunch of iron going in there uh yeah the iron i don't know where we needed the iron anyway the only problem we've really got here is that Hoverax isn't working that good. It says 60, 99, 100, 64, 74. So it's going okay. I think if we set up another 10 machines, it would probably fall over straight away though. But them's the brakes. And we've lined it up perfectly and we got these guys. So that'll start. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about 238 too much anymore because we were looking a little bit low on that. But see, this one's only got two. Two of that two three eight in it. This one's only got four. How is that possible? We're producing so much here. We should be producing so much. I guess they're still filling up these chests. Oh, no wonder. Six hundred. Screw that for a joke. Well to be honest, we really do want six hundred in there. But This could be down to 20, maybe. That doesn't help us now because a ratio of 20 versus 600 is not a good ratio to have, but 
Yeah, those are the final values, and I think those are the final values I want. We'll leave this running for long enough. We will end up with that much Kovrax in the system. Did we have some more of these guys? Probably have, but it's probably steel has been slowing him down. Anyway, I'm going to leave it off here. Might let this run offline for a little bit just to build up some 238. I don't think there's... Or build up the Kovrax anyway. So this guy is back... There's 2.9k there. Let's take all of that out. And let's go and let's dump it all in here. And hopefully, because I'm a little bit worried about the Kovarex running out of 238 and just not running. And so there we go. We've got these guys backed up now. We've got a bunch of this stuff happening. These guys should actually start backing up a little bit. They won't be constantly used. And then once we've got 10 more things, we can pop down another uh, Kovarex set up. And maybe another one and maybe another one. God knows how many we'll need, but we can just start whacking them down. And once we've got a consistent amount of Kovarex, we can really, really start just pumping out these fuel cells. Ah, uh, yeah, but we'll probably have to do more of these as well. So anyway, that has been that. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys later.